there's some certain actions or key words that examiners say that makes a lot of difference. When you hear, unfortunately, I'm sorry, I wish you all the best in the future. These are all indications that you failed your test. Also, if the examiner holds the steering wheel or presses the brakes, your test is done. All you're just doing now for the rest of the test is just donating your money to, towards the DVLA. You might as well set up a GoFundMe page because you're never getting that money back. So best thing is just enjoy the rest of your test. Start Googling in your head when your next test is because that money, that money is gone. Let's get into my test. Now the first test that I did was in a manual car. My instructor kept on telling me that, oh, I'm not ready. The thing about ex uh, instructors is you've got to be careful about them. They're the biggest legal scams in the world because they'll keep telling you you're not ready, you're not ready, praying and hoping that you keep booking lessons. The more you book lessons, the more money for them. And you know what? I just had enough of my instructor telling me I'm not ready. So what I did was I, tell, I told him I booked the test, I'm going for it. With the test, I wasn't that confident on the test, but I said to myself, I said, listen, if it goes well, then good luck to me. And if it doesn't go well, well, is another learning opportunity for me. So certain things you have to do before you even enter the car. One of them is you have to read a car's number plate. There's also something called show me, tell me questions. I've done everything right. As I enter the car, my examiner walks around the car, checks that everything is working well. The examiner will tell you, when you enter your car, get ready to move off. I've entered my car, I've done my little, I've done my seatbelt, I've checked that everything's ready, I've put the ignition on and I'm ready. The examiner walks into the car, he says, when you're ready, move off. So now, I've done my little checks, checking the mirror, check that everything is right. I started to move off and I'm driving brilliantly. If you saw the way I was driving, I was just cruising my way. I'm driving well. I'm even speaking to the examiner saying, yo, how's your day? How's your... He's telling me he's got a daughter in Brighton. And, and I was thinking to myself, wow, this is going really brilliant. I'm thinking to myself as well, there's that instructor that told me I couldn't do it. Everything is going well. 10 minutes into the test, no minors, no majors. So I'm thinking, wow, this is going brilliant. This is when everything now changed. This is when I knew the examiner wasn't my friend anymore. Because he told me, he said, at the next junction, turn left. When he said, at the next junction, turn left, that is when my test finished. Because of the talking I was doing with the examiner, I got carried away. As I've turned left, I've missed my little spot, which I was meant to wait for a bus driver to, to come through. This road that I turned left into is a two-way road. Because there's parked cars e either side, only one car or one vehicle can go in at a time. Me and the bus driver were now looking at each other, who's going to give way? In my mind, I'm praying that, please, give me way. Because when it comes to reversing, I'm not the greatest at reversing. So I didn't really want to reverse, I just wanted to go forward. But because the bus was already in the halfway, it was me that had to give way. My leg was just, was just moving like this. So, and I'm there thinking to myself, geez, I'm gonna have to reverse here. So I looked in the middle mirror, behind me, just a pile of cars. And I'm thinking, wow, this is madness. I knew already, I, I can't reverse. I'm not good at reversing. So I tried my best to reverse. I'm struggling. The examiner knows I'm struggling, but he didn't want to intervene too quickly. And I was thinking to myself, the key word, the key word. If this guy touches the steering wheel, if he touches the steering wheel, it's over. I've just donated my money to the DVLA. For that reason, I'm struggling, trying to make sure I reverse back to that spot. It came to a point, cars just started beeping behind me. As soon as he grabbed that steering wheel, I just said, yo, it's over, it's over. He grabbed the steering wheel, he fixed it for me, and then after that, I just said, you know what, let me just enjoy the rest of my driving. Let me enjoy it. I thought that was it. As we are on our way back to the test center, my examiner said to me, at the roundabout, take the second exit. The second exit in this roundabout is just going straight. So what I've done is I've looked on the right hand side to check that there's no car coming. And I was in third gear, so I've changed it to second gear so that I don't have to stop. As I'm about to move off from the roundabout, a car just out of nowhere just sped through 